We just celebrated 80 years since the invasion of Europe on 6th June, 1944 by the Allied troops. As most of the events that unfolded are well documented and part of common knowledge, there are still some that were kept in secrecy for years. One such event is the Exercise Tiger. What happened, you might ask? As the Allies prepared for the monumental D-Day landings of June 6, 1944, large-scale rehearsals were deemed necessary to ensure the operation's success. Among these was Exercise Tiger, a secret full-scale rehearsal that ended in tragedy, resulting in the loss of nearly 1,000 American servicemen. This video delves into the meticulous preparation, the harrowing events that unfolded, and the subsequent cover-up of the results. Welcome to the History Bits Podcast. Please subscribe so as not to lose any interesting latest videos we prepare. Thank you. Preparation for Exercise Tiger began in late 1943, when the British government started planning practice exercises for the impending D-Day landings. Slapton Sands in Devon was chosen for its resemblance to Utah Beach, one of the designated landing sites in Normandy. To mimic the conditions of Normandy, the beach was fortified with obstacles, and approximately 3,000 residents were evacuated to maintain secrecy. The Allies assembled a massive naval force, including destroyers, motor torpedo boats, and motor gun boats, to protect the exercise area. Nine tank landing ships, or LSTs, were brought in for the live fire rehearsal landings, which would involve 30,000 Allied troops. Exercise Tiger was scheduled from April 22nd to April 30th, 1944. The first phase focused on embarkation and marshalling drills. On April 26th, the troops boarded their LSTs for a simulated journey across the English Channel, aiming to arrive at Slapton Sands by dawn the next day. The second phase, on April 27th, involved a live fire scenario. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander insisted on using live ammunition to acclimate the troops to real battle conditions. However, coordination and communication problems led to a friendly fire incident, causing casualties among the troops. The rehearsal soon turned disastrous. German E-boats, alerted by intercepted radio transmissions and reconnaissance flights, attacked the Allied convoy. The LSTs, laden with soldiers and equipment, were ideal targets. With only minimal escort and no significant radio capabilities, the convoy suffered severe losses. At least 749 American servicemen perished because of attacks and friendly fire incidents. The catastrophic outcome of Exercise Tiger was shrouded in secrecy due to the imminent Normandy invasion. The incident was minimally reported, and the full extent of the tragedy remained undisclosed for decades. It was only years later that the truth about Exercise Tiger came to light, revealing the high cost of the rehearsal and the lengths to which the military went to keep it concealed. While the fate of the fallen soldiers remained a secret for the general public, we believe it is important to honor their memory and consider also their contribution to the war effort. Exercise Tiger serves as a somber reminder of the complexities and dangers of preparing for war. The lessons learned from this tragic event undoubtedly contributed to the eventual success of the D-Day landings, but at a great cost. The memory of those who lost their lives during this rehearsal must be honored and serves as a testament to the sacrifices made in the pursuit of the victory against Nazi Germany. The courage and sacrifice of the servicemen involved will forever be a significant part of the history leading up to the liberation of Europe. We encourage you to research more about the topic and remember that even when we think we know everything, there still might be something new to discover.